Chris, this is Shah speaking, and this is your reading for the 23rd till the 29th of March 2020. And I hope you're well under the same circumstances. Please remember, stay calm and just enjoy uh, everything that you can do at home with the kids or without kids. And together we stand strong so if there is somebody around you that need extra help whilst you for example whilst you're doing uh, shopping then do shopping for somebody else um, and here we go um, I'm re doing this reading with a nine card spread I'm just going to show you what I which spread I use when I do extensive readings um, I will be only reading the past the from in the past I take the past from the 1st of January to now because we've just finished our first quarter and we're going into the energy of Aries and the sign of Aries so if there are any Arians around you then happy birthday to them and um, this is the present and this is the future this is an inspiration card and the Godin card and or the goddess and the answer of the angels I'm also using uh, the uh, bottom of the deck card as the overall energy so like I said the past I'm taking the past not too far it might resonate with you even further but I'm taking it from the 1st of January till the end of this week when it is the end of March okay let's have a look what your star sign what cards there are and what they mean okay Taurus you have the wishing well the bucket has to go down very very deep um, to get water so um, this means that you need to do more research and get more information with regards to a question a situation or an issue you can also do a wish beautiful that was in the past so has your wish come to fruition perhaps that is um, why it's coming up has your wish or goal come true have you got that more uh, information was it difficult to get that information or did you make issues or problems out of things as you have the mountain the mountain means that you uh, or somebody around you doesn't you make problems out of molehills or you uh, make an elephant from a fly sorry if this saying isn't right but I am bilingual and um, making in Holland it literally translated is making problems mountains out of a molehill you don't have to climb the mountain you can walk the mountain look at this deer that is walking the path he's taking his time but he's also observing around him not just what is in front of him he knows and he's aware uh, what he ha is happening around him so that he can foresee issues and problems so that's why it is a card saying take your time if you need to you don't have to go and climb the mountain and be fast in other words anyway when you reach the summit you know that you have to go down the mountain as well so take your time perhaps time is of essence um, no essence um, also the mountain to me means that somebody might be around you that doesn't want a confrontation this could also be you is avoiding a confrontation um, as somebody else was wearing a mask okay perhaps you were wearing a mask and didn't want a confrontation so who is wearing the mask be aware of somebody that's wearing a mask that's not being them their true selves this could be you because uh, you could have been wearing a mask to avoid issues and problems because you n didn't see a way out okay that was in your past now what is lying above you is the fox 
again there's somebody not being quite honest this could be you this could be somebody around you that's keeping an eye on you like the fox is keeping an eye on its prey and the prey is the cockerel so he's been analytical he's taking his time because he wants to get to his price his goal his wish now so the warning here is be careful of somebody that's wearing a mask that's being analytical that's being manipulative that's being sly remember a fox sheds his fur but not his tricks or streaks this could be you, but I don't think so, because um, this is a, also a warning card. If you are working, your boss might be looking at you and keeping a detailed eye on you to see how you perform. Do you meet deadlines? Do you make problems out of molehills? Okay. Are you crossing your T's and dotting your I's? If you are staying calm and collect and think of others, and keep your eye focused on what the purpose is um, uh, like I said working with detail and precise and meeting deadlines there could be a promotion for you in within the near future that is what this card all means okay now there is the nine of clover that's the nine of staves so you might be going through tough times and by all cards uh, considering um, I, I think you might be making mountains out of molehills but there are some issues or difficulties so um, you might be isolating yourself because you don't want to lose your job you don't want to um, yeah what you would say you are isolating yourself because the house protects you you feel safe there you're guarded there but you're the door is closed but the gate is open nobody's going to come knocking on your door don't isolate yourself have faith in yourself trust yourself you have the power you can safeguard yourself you can stand your ground okay like you are the house you are protecting yourself good 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 but go out there and make friends and mingle don't isolate yourself that is what is the message here okay uh, now if the question is am I going to get a house or am I going to move am I going to uh, buy a house perhaps that was your wish then yes you have to be very analytical if you found a house because the center card I use as the querent card that's you okay so perhaps you have bought this house because underneath you you have news and contracts official papers so you might be um, signing contracts this week uh, with regards to a house or a job um, but look at the small print then this is a warning be analytical be clever okay you don't have to be sly don't have to do it in a mean way but be clever be alert something is twigging okay now um, you have ah well this is the card for moving home you've got the stalk the stalk also means 360 degrees turnaround in a situation or an issue okay you are in your power because you've got number 17 that's an 8 that's money the money, house of money and inheritance and power so you might hear of a birth this could be of a child or a project or work like I said your boss might have an eye on you and see how you're working and meeting deadlines uh, and if you are working um, uh, productively and uh, meeting deadlines perhaps if you're working from home now in this situation with the uh, thing that's happening everybody on lockdown perhaps you might be getting an off an, a different contract that you're getting a promotion right uh, when this is all over I would like you to work 25% or 50% at home so that could be the turnaround so that you can take care of the children they don't have to go to daycare or to grandpa and grandma perhaps you can do 50 50 
that is what I'm seeing I 50 50 and I'm seeing somebody doing this turn round okay that's the turn round or you might be moving home there's definitely a lot of things happening for you uh, at the moment and in the in the future this is the food for thought this is the energy that is lying in the future so be aware something might already be happening uh, because when it's uh, above you then it is uh, imminent that it's going to happen it is already there this could be that it's already happened this is your foundation there will be meetings and gatherings uh, presentations uh, uh, work meetings uh, perhaps signing contracts uh, with regards to a house that could be a meeting with the real estate you'll be getting news the birds means meetings news um, uh, converse uh, and somebody might have left uh, the group or the coop this could be somebody could have left the group at work or left the house so that's why you most probably are perhaps upsizing or downsizing there is a new beginning a new beginning because you've got the uh, death card here the sarcophagus and this is also meaning moving home transformation going into a new period leaving an old period behind I already said you had the nine of wands here and you've got the nine of coins the nine of coins means that you've made the right uh, investments and money is coming to you an end and a new beginning okay the nine of pentacles is a beautiful card you've crossed many bridges to get to where you are now okay Taurus you're in a very good position you've had a hard time but you've had you've got luck on your side you've got the nine of Pentacles the seven of Pentacles you have sown the seeds and you're going to reap them either this week or very shortly you have been building bridges and you've crossed many bridges and there were issues okay that was in the past but now it's looking really positive for you amazing okay and I'm not in not in all the readings do I take the uh, cartomans cartomancy uh, meaning or the uh, numerology but you have also got your powerhouse and your money house here and it is inevitable that something very positive is going to happen for you be thankful for everyone be thankful for everyone every single person who drifts in and out of your life is a part of your divinely chosen experience as you move into the world of inspiration you'll find it easy and even necessary to give thanks for all of these people and to take serious note of what they brought you so be thankful you've got butterflies in the card as well transformation Ooh, awesome then we have the card from the go goddess is Excel medicine woman you are a, a a godly or a divine channel for healing uh, healing power so use your healing power to help others come and st uh, go stay in your balance be in your own power okay so that is a beautiful um, meaning you are a healing channel a divine channel and there will be recovery there's going to be awesome recovery if I look at your uh, reading Taurus so enjoy that and um, let me know what you think about it please share this video with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and if you would like to join us in the live English speaking then I go live Monday evening and Friday evening and remember I'm also collaborating with other readers and you can find uh, I will be putting their videos out or sharing them uh, this week so uh, 
I have to tweak that and um, you can see what I do on Tuesday uh, and what you can join me on Instagram as well uh, I didn't know you could go live from Instagram so follow me on Instagram and also um, follow me on Facebook there I leave updates from time to time as well and the the, the, the vlogs that I do uh, with the Dutch witch we are discussing the deck from uh, Marla Brooks and that is the witch's oracle what is a witch? Um, uh, what is the difference between homeopathy or an aromatherapist uh, and a witch as they all use herbs and oils and have their own thing uh, like a Reiki master we have uh, uh, healing signs and people call us witches or um, uh, 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 meditation we use uh, affirmations and in the witches world it's called incantation so come and join us and watch the video from Wendy the Dutch witch and me uh, on Wednesday I will be uploading it and you might like it I like discussions I'm a typical Gemini so I hope you enjoy it take care have a wonderful week and stay safe and by the way you can find more information underneath the video so please hit that subscribe button and the bell or go and have a look at the website on this little white dot in the corner and I will be updating that this week as well take care be blessed.